Hey, wrestling fans, this is Gary Michael Capetta, and you're listening to Perched on the Top Rope. The following announcement has been paid for by Perched on the Top Rope. While you're in WCW, we know that left in 1995, uh, this is about Eric, you know, Eric Bischoff starts coming in and, and kind of running the show. Your last show was Slamboree 95. Um, did you know that was going to be your last show with WCW? Yes. A really good card, by the way. Uh, I believe the, the, the main event was Hogan and Savage and Flair and Vader. As each match is going on, like I, I know that there was matches with the Nasty Boys, Wahoo McDaniel, Great Muda, Arn Anderson, Steve Austin was on the card uh, before he Stone Cold. Obviously, he was doing I think still doing the Stunning Steve. Knowing that's your last event, as each match is is dwindling down, what was going through your mind? Um, I was it was profoundly sad Mm -hmm. and I wasn't, I didn't necessarily know or think that I would never announce again. Um, But that was a height in my career up to that point. Yeah. Um, I I was still relatively young when I finished there. So um, yeah, but um, the way that it had ended wouldn't have been the way I would have wanted it to end. Um, yeah, so uh, profound sadness, and um, which is difficult because yeah. I'm portraying excitement. Yeah, yeah. As part of you know what you know the reason that I'm there, yeah. so I had to push the sadness down and kick GMC in. You know the ring announcer. Yeah, and separate how I was really feeling from what I was projecting. And uh, after the main event. You know what was it like for you? Did did any anyone you know anyone come up to you and uh, hugs, goodbyes, things like that? Gonna miss you. Did anyone know that it was your last night? Um, some did. Um, I I, just, I went uh, back to the hotel, up to my room, and um, I got a call from my. And I would never go to the bar anyway, so it wasn't like I was ducking out of or retreating from something I usually would do. Mm -hmm. Um, I I wasn't, you know, very social. I always found it to be a good policy and good business not to, uh, not not to be around situations that could um, blow up on you. Um, But I did get a call and they wanted me to come down to the bar. And I said, no, I really, like, I'm really not in the mood. And but Gary, they you know they want to say goodbye or whatever. So I did. I went back. Um, I guess it was the hotel bar, and um, socialized a little bit. Okay. Um, now, now after that, had WWF tried to make a move at you again, um, or ECW or anything like that to try and get you to to come in? As my contract was winding down. Um, I got a call from Paul Heyman. Um, He wanted me to come into ECW um, to join them, but not as a ring announcer, but on commentary. And um, I, I I didn't want to. So, uh, but he called me about, I'd say he called me three times Uh to um, try to talk me into coming out. And uh, I said to him, Paul, like, I can't, like the product that you're, that you're putting out is contrary to what I'm known to be associated with. I don't even, I don't see how that could work unless you brought me on commentary. uh, And Joey Styles is, does a great job for you. Um, Unless you brought me on commentary with Joey Styles to be anti-ECW. Um... I don't see it. And he would say, no, really, it will work. I, I have this vision. And, you know, I don't know what his, I, I'll, um, you know, I'll work with you. It's because I knew Paul from when he was a teenager. Uh-huh. And he was a photographer in, um, you know, the WWF, WWWF territory. 
Mm -hmm. So I, I, you know, and then I worked with him in uh, WC, in AWA and then WCW when he was the manager. Yep. So he and I went back a long time and, um, and worked side by side over the years. Um, yeah, so that was, uh, that was the company that reached out to me. Hey everyone, thanks for watching that video. If you liked what you saw, make sure you hit the like button and make sure you hit subscribe so you can get all our content here at Perched on the Top Row. And fans remember, spoiler freeze, the way to be. I'm out. Mm.